today we're going to make a very simple sandwich recipe and that is going to require us to have some bread and then we're going to have some mayonnaise as well as some peanut butter uh, and then the last ingredient we will have bacon. We're going to be operating here with the hot plate and we're going to go ahead and turn that all the way up. We're going to start out by setting the toaster oven here and we're going to set it about 375 to 400. We're going to put it on the broil setting here and then we're going to go ahead and turn it on so it can preheat. All right, now that our pan has heated up just a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and take the bacon, and go ahead and put it right on there. Next, we'll take the bread and we'll go ahead and place that in the toaster oven. The trick with cooking bacon well is that you don't want to leave it on too long. You want to make sure it gets a nice crisp to it, but you don't want to burn it. So I have this plate here ready with a paper towel on it. So we're just going to take the bacon, because remember, that grease continues to cook it for a little bit, even when you take it off. The key to this sandwich is not overcooking the bacon, but then also using an oven or one of these toaster ovens. Um, you're not going to want to use one of the slot toaster ovens because that'll toast the bread on both sides. Instead, that's why we're setting it to broil. You want to set it to broil so then it will just toast the tops of the bread. Alright, so now the toast is done. The important part about this, like I said, is you don't want to toast both sides. You want this to be your outside, this to be your inside. So only toast the inside of the bread. That's what makes this sandwich better. I always say try and probably put a healthy helping of peanut butter on there. Just kind of a nice thick spread really. And this is what most people find a little strange is the mayonnaise part, but it gives it that kind of that tanginess that it really needs and then the saltiness of the bacon really kind of brings it together. So then we're going to go ahead and take our bacon. We're just going to place it right on there, like this. You hear that bacon has a nice crispiness to it. And you'll just take both pieces of the bread and that is our peanut butter mayonnaise and bacon sandwich.